Dyslexic genius here, Brad Hurt. I'm back on the Sonora Grand and the Hula Girl spindle shaft that holds the turntable. And this has been fun. It had a lot of run out. It had over 200 thousandths run out on it. I've got it down within 20. And I'll explain this. You have a flat area here. This is straight. And then we have a taper that tapers down. And this taper down part here holds the turntable. And then we have the end piece here that holds the record. We're not going to worry that much about the run out here. The critical run out is all through here on the machine. This can wiggle all, all day long. It won't bother. The record will go on, everything will be fine, but we're work, worrying about the turntable moving like this. So let me show you. This part here has a lot of run out. I'll just leave what the indicator is. I'm going to turn the lathe on and we'll see. We got yeah, 20, 30 thousandths on that. That's not bad. But now, when we go to the top of the taper, right here, we're doing a lot better. Because what we're doing is we have to test all the way down. And I, we have this bend, bend, bend. And we have, we have a bend in here, and we have a bend in here. So you just have to keep running it. A lot straighter in there. Then when you get right to the start of the taper, got about 10 thousandths in that. And then we get back down in here. This is the critical thing. I still got, yeah, I got less than 20 thousandths in that. How did this get bent? Somebody hit it with something. I mean, he, it's hard to bend these things. So what you do, let's get it out of the lathe. And no, you're not supposed to lay your chuck down like that, but we'll gently set that there. So now what we have is the top of the casting. We have the spindle shaft, the barrel hook up here. This fits in here like this. This goes in here like that. And now, it turns. It wasn't turning when I first did it like this, but now that that's working. But you can see where the record goes. It has it has a lot of run out like this. And we've fixed Hula Girl. There's a little play in there, but that's fine. I also chamfered this out for oiling and then I flex tone in the inside because we had wear in there. When I was taking it apart, the spindle shaft was a little stuck and I wonder why it wasn't spinning. So we get Hula girl in here, and we roll her on the bench. And Hula girl's looking pretty good. You know, I love doing this, and this is a lot of fun. And don't try this at home because I'm a professional. And it helps to have a glass of wine when you do this, and that's my tip for the day. This is as exciting as watching grass grow. <laughs>